Hey everyone, my name is Tom, and before we talk about the release date, let me give a quick introduction for the game. So, New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon is a management game where you build your food empire. You build these food shops to serve customers, but in order to serve customers, you need food. So you will produce and grow your ingredients, convert that into food, and serve to the customers. The game is also multiplayer, and with multiplayer, there's an element of sabotaging each other. So you can put poison in their food, you can put rats in their factories, making them lose business and rating. I hope it sounds fun, so go wishlist the game, it really helps, and let's get going. The release date. The original plan was to have July as a grind month, that happened, have a big beta in August, that did not happen, release a demo in September, that's also not going to happen, and then participate in the Steam Next Fest in October, and maybe release in November. So that was the original plan. But a few weeks ago I realized that this is not really feasible, because there's a lot still to do for the game. There is the research that needs to be done, there is the economy that needs to be balanced, that needs to be dynamic, that needs to be a lot of stuff that I have no idea how to do yet. All the sabotaging element in the game is still an idea, and I have not even started coming up with the ideas for it. Like, we have the simple ideas of poisoning food, putting rats in stores, but that's it. This system requires a lot more polishing, coming up with ideas, seeing how it's going to affect the game. I need to build the rating system, a lot more work on the UI needs to be done, because right now it's not good at all. <laughs> um, and then there is music and sound effects that the game is lacking right now, it, the game is very quiet. So there is a bunch of things that needs to be done, and there is no way I will be able to make it. Let's talk about the new plan. For the next few months, I will continue working on the game, doing small playtests here and there, and then hopefully in November or December start making bigger betas, hopefully release a demo in January, then February participate in the Steam Next Fest, and the release will happen a few weeks after the Steam Next Fest, so either February or early March. This is the new plan, hopefully it will work, I really hope I will be able to release the game no later than March, but again, you know, I'm a one-man team, so things can change. The reason I'm waiting until February or March is because I really want to participate in the Steam Next Fest. This is a huge festival that brings in a lot of wishlists. My previous game got about 550 wishlists during the Steam Next Fest, and I hope this time I will get even more. In order to get to that, the demo needs to be amazing. Not good, not playable, it needs to be stable, bug-free, brilliant and fun. Because this festival is the biggest visibility opportunity that Steam can offer. And together with the festival I will be trying to reach out to content creators, curators, news and media to get as much visibility as possible for the demo. And hopefully that will translate to a lot of wishlists. So anyway, that's the new plan, and let's hope it will work. Okay, let's take a look at the major changes that happened over the past few weeks. First of all, there are some visual changes. For example, the burger place now has an interior. I modeled these things myself, that's why they look the way they do, but at least it's not an empty interior with a grey box in it. Next, some of the factories also got updates. For example, the meat factory is now going to have some animation. I'm planning on giving all the shops, all the factories, some small minor animations so the game doesn't feel so static. The vegetable farm got a new model and an animation as well. And my absolutely favorite one so far is the fruit farm. This one has two animations. It has the growing trees and it has them producing fruits. Plan is basically to slowly update all these factories, giving them some minor animations, changing up the model so it's not a grey box anymore, changing up the food production ones to assemblers, that's what I call them now, because it doesn't make sense to have a sushi or a pizza factory, but at least now it's called an assembler, because that makes more sense, right? Most management games give you some sort of statistics, to see your profit and loss, for example, things that you did, and stuff like that. So I started working on something like that for my game. There will be a statistics of profit and loss, obviously, but also things like production and sales. So you can have a view and understanding of how much you produce, how much you sell, and stuff like that. This is still a work in progress, but this is what I have so far. Every factory now has a stats tab. This will tell you how much you produce for the past day, 7 days, and 30 days. This acts as a quick view, 
Later on, I will be adding more tools for that. The shops have a similar statistics. So here you'll be able to see how much you sold, how much the shop profited. Right now, the profits are all positive, but later on, I think we will introduce something like rent for the shops. So these numbers can be negative. I also started working on daily summaries where you'll be able to see how much you produced and sold per day. And the next thing that I'm working on right now is to have some sort of a graph that will show you all this information in a nice, easy and understandable way. I got an asset pack that I thought I will be using, but I ended up dropping that idea because it had a few flaws that I just couldn't figure out. I decided that I'm going to implement the graphs myself using CodeMonkey's tutorial from six years ago. So watch out for the graphs, this will be in the next update. So these were the changes for the past few weeks. As I mentioned, there's a lot more to do, but you know, slowly but surely we will get there. Thank you for watching, please wishlist the game, that really helps a lot, and I will see you next time.